Hey guys, it's me Slinky and welcome back to Slinky Gaming. And today we're going to be doing another um, another tips and tricks video. So this is an easy way to get money. Okay, now I do actually have something up on the screen at the precise moment in time you're watching this. Reason being, mm -hmm. we are actually going to go to the same place. So if you get onto the assault and batteries, or if I just show you where it is just now, you come to here. Okay, no you don't. You're going to want to come to here, I think. Yeah, you come to here. That's where you're going to want to go. Right. Now, this is just one of many easy ways to make money on Dying Light. This is especially useful for if you are new to the Dying Light experience, like you haven't played it before, or you just genuinely need some money. You just need some Wonga. Well, this is the best way that I have found to do so. Okay, so all you're going to want to do is just run along to the location I've just showed you. Just keep on running, running, keep on running, running. Okay, now seeing as this is a Dying Light Tips and Tricks video, as well as just uh, an information video, I'm actually going to give you like, a couple of tips along the way. The first tip is use what I call environment taps, environment traps these things here. Okay, you're getting chased by a bunch of zombies, you pull firecrackers down on top of that and boom, it lights up. The only reason that lit there is because I have fire damage on my thing. Now that is a perfect trap. That will burn them and slow them down, which is perfect. Now, you're going to need to come to here, which is kind of convenient because there's already some dude here that I need to help. Okay. Now this is the building in question that you need. I'm just going to go up here. All gone. All gone. Oh, I've heard him before. He's just ragging on. Okay, now you didn't want to do that. Now the reason this is an easy way to get money is because this used to be a coffee shop. There's 80 quid in there. There's some coffee there. There's some coffee there. Uh, then when you come in the back, there's some coffee up here. There, uh, I think there's some coffee in the fridge. Yep. And then there's loads and loads of coffee up here. Now, you can either keep that for a side quest, or you can then just head on back. The reason I like this is because there's a safe house right beside it, which is extremely handy. So I just jump on into the safe house. Uh, I run around here. I go out of the back. Up to the top. See this guy, we just ignore him. Come in here. And I just go sleep night time then daytime. I just go sleep again because I don't like doing these videos at night because you can't really see them. So it is now morning. Very, very good. Okay, so now all you're going to want to do is the exact same as you've just done. Just come along, jump out, jump out again. Back in here. And they should have all respawned. Her head just exploded. Oh my god. That head exploded. Her head has just exploded. Now, if I remember correctly, the things in here will respawn, but the things in the fridge don't. But you still got all the coffee. So, there you go. And already we have 18 coffee and 2 cigarettes. Uh, yeah, I didn't think. If you have to search for it, uh, it doesn't respawn. But I'm just going to do this again. I'll do it two more times just to kind of use up time on the video because I don't want it to be too short so yeah let's just do that I'll do it twice more 
then that's it okay that's it that's it done so yeah let's just run back along again I just want to say after this I'll be uploading a new tips and tricks uh, not a tips and tricks I will be uploading a new um, thingy a new side quest video I don't know which side quest yet I think I actually said yesterday I would do the assault and batteries so yeah I will do that yeah I'll do the assault and batteries side quest So yeah, I'll do it once more. Again, just to use up time. And then we will travel to the tower to see how much money we will get for however much coffee we have. I think we should have around 30 coffee. What as I said is a valuable. It is valuable, so you can actually get some money for it. So I'll just collect all the coffee again, just one last time, and yeah. This is only one I've recently just found, I actually found it when we were doing the Mother's Day thing, when we found this box of chocolates. That is actually when I realised that this could be used as a good way. So we have 34 coffee now, so all we're going to do now is go to the tower. So just run along, just keep running. In fact, oh no, we don't even need to go to the tower, we have a shop here. Let's just go. Let me see. Okay, I don't have a lot of money right now, I have 2,400. So I'm going to sell the stuff that I don't need as well. Now there we go, 34 coffee. So we're getting $121 per coffee. So if we sell the 34 coffee we've just got, we're getting $4,000. Now, for first off, like when you're just starting out, that is good. That's, that's good money. And the cigarettes as well. If I can find another way of getting that, I will let you guys know. But yeah, um, thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. So, as always, until the next video, slice.